What I wanted to talk about was what happens when your liquid line filter dryer gets clogged up. How do you know? And what are you going to do about it? Before, we talked about having a condensing unit. We said we would have the liquid line service valve right here. We talked about having a receiver. A lot of times you don't find a receiver and you don't have a king valve. You will use the service valve as the king valve. So from here, typically what you end up having is your liquid line filter dryer. The liquid line filter dryer should have an arrow that's going to be pointing out towards the metering device. It needs to point always towards the metering device unless it's a heat pump. And we'll talk about that another time. A lot of times you will find a sight glass sight glass and inside you're going to have the moisture indicator. The sight glass is so you can see what you have going through the liquid line. From here we go to the metering device and then to the evaporator and then back down to our suction line and there's your suction line service valve. But we said we were going to talk about what happens when the liquid line filter dryer gets clogged up. When there's dirt inside, when there's trash inside, it restricts the flow. Once it restricts the flow, then you don't have as much refrigerant coming this way. What do we want in the liquid line? In the liquid line, we always want 100% liquid. But when this clogs up, you're not going to have 100% liquid coming out. You may have, let's say, 90% liquid, and then you're going to have 10% vapor. So that means you're going to see bubbles in the sight glass. And once you see bubbles in the sight glass, you know that you have a problem. So how are you going to know that this is the problem? What you do is you take a temperature reading here and a temperature reading here. Now, if you just grab it with your hands, you should be able to tell if there's a temperature difference. So if you grab this side, it feels cold. This side, it feels warm. You know that the liquid line filter dryer is clogged up and you're going to have to do something about it. Now, there are several things you can do. One of them is that you can recover all of the refrigerant, put it in a recovery machine, and when you get ready to charge it, you go ahead and use fresh refrigerant. That way you know all of your refrigerant is going to be clean and you're not going to have any moisture back in, in the system. So that would be the safest way to do it, to recover the refrigerant, put it in a recovery machine, and charge fresh refrigerant. So let's say that we did that. Let's say we recovered all of that refrigerant, then we take this dryer out, we put a new dryer in. Once we put the new dryer in, we know we have to pull the vacuum down to, yeah, as always, 500 microns. Once you pull it down to 500 microns, then you can go ahead and add refrigerant back into the system and you, you're going to charge the system back up. Now the moisture indicator, we want it to be green. If it turns yellow, then you know you have moisture in the system. If you have bubbles going through there, it won't necessarily turn yellow. So if it is yellow at some point, once you pull a vacuum, and you dry the system out, then it should turn back to green. So I hope this helps you.